Hey everyone, it's Maniac the Tinker that again, and this week it's another mailbag video. So I understand that not many people like mailbag videos, or at least a considerable percentage of people don't like it, but please remember that uh, the point of such video is not really bragging about what can I buy, but uh, instead showing what can be bought on the cheap uh, to do some interesting projects with. So without further ado, let's get to it and open those packages. Okay, first one is just a box of heat shrink tubes ordered from some local store. So these can come super handy when you need to do something like waterproof connections or something like that. Okay, next one. This is from Banggood. This is actually my first order that is not a priority mail and it took ages to get here. I ordered this in like February or something like that. So let's open it. So what are these? These are plastic boxes for electronics, electronic projects. They were super cheap, they are sturdy and they are perfect for housing something like an ODEM CU and a couple of sensors. You can just easily uh, mount them to a wall. So, until the point where I get my first 3D printer, this will have to do. These are just uh, connectors. They can connect five wires to each other. They are quick connectors, so you can just use these flip switches to have a wire connected or disconnected again and they can tolerate really high current and voltage. So you can use this with mains current. Next package, again from Banggood, as usual. Okay, what are these? So these are a lot of various protoboards for prototyping projects. So they are the next step after having a breadboard because you can solder to these. And they, as you can see, they come in different shapes and forms. So I think some of them can actually fit into this box just like that. Yeah. Yeah, perfect fit. Maybe a little dremeling here and there, but looks like a perfect fit for these boxes. It's nice. These are 3.3 to 5 volt logic level shifters. A different kind uh, that I usually use these seem to be higher quality so I wanted to give them a try and these are 3D printer parts these are actually end stop switches for the REMS board but uh, besides that they can be used I mean they can be used without REMS board anyway but uh, my plan is to build a Prusa uh, clone on my own and to order the parts one by one and, and have some fun with it. So these are the next step. And the last package. This is also quite large. Also from Banggood. Who guessed that right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so first of all, one, two, three, missing three or maybe five USB, mini USB cables. These are required by some boards and the FTD adapter that I use for the Sonos. Next one is a set of electrolytic capacitors. So this is a nice assortment. Pretty much matches all the needs for various projects. Uh, I think I will be done. Uh, I mean, it will have some. It will take some time when I use all of these. Till I use all of these. And I think, yeah, this is another assortment. And these are ceramic capacitors. Fortunately, uh, this is for a project in my house for the outdoor lighting of my garden. And another fortunate relay for the same purpose. And finally, real Arduino. I mean, a month ago or something like that, I had a problem with uh, driving. Okay, it's no pins bent. Okay, so a month ago or something like that, uh, I had a problem with uh, the LED strip I experimented with, and I thought that the problem was about the Node MCU having a 3.3 volt logic signal, and I had various experiments with logic lever shifters and transistors and whatnot and it didn't want to work and in desperation I ordered this but in the meantime I solved the problem it turned out it was a problem with the fast LED library so anyway uh, now I'm here with an Arduino and I don't know or an Arduino clone from Geekrate to be precise and I don't know what I will use it for at least for the moment, but hey, it can come handy. Okay, so basically that's it. That's it for now. Uh, don't worry, I'm not planning to do too many mailbox video or mailbag videos in the near future, simply because I ordered a lot of parts lately and now they are just sit around on the shelves and I really want to use them first. So hopefully the next video will be about some interesting project I'm working, I'm working on. Okay, anyway, I uh, hope you like this regardless. And if so, then please hit like, hit subscribe and see you next time.